Hello everyone, I'm Ellen from the Kin University. I'm going to present my ongoing PhD project, which is about biomarkers for detection and estimation of seaweed contribution to carbon sequestration. Blue carbon is uh, defined as a carbon sequestered by marine and coastal ecosystems, specifically mangrove, seagrass, and salt marsh. And we know that climate change driven by global carbon emission is an extremely serious problem. These vegetated ecosystems are great at long-term carbon sequestration as they can capture carbon from the atmosphere and store it in the sediment for years to millennia. Seaweed as part of coastal vegetation are great at carbon removal. But it is suspected that seaweed may be non-recalcitrant and quickly degraded in the environment as they don't contain lignocellulose. And also, as they grow on rocky habitats, the dead seaweed are transported by water movement to blue carbon habitats and have been counted as part of blue carbon contribution to car carbon sequestration. So, the contribution of seaweed has been unseen. And that is why we're trying to explore the use of biomarker, expecting that biomarker uh, can distinguish seaweed among other carbon contributors in marine environment. We collected coastal sediment cores around WA and Southwest Victoria, and also uh, deep sea cores around Tasmania that have been agitated and they are about 9,000 years old. We've used environmental DNA technology to identify seaweeds that have been stored in the sediment by using metabarcoding approach, and we found that bunch of seaweed species either in coastal or deep sea sediment. This proves that seaweed are sequestered for millennia in marine deposition. We also pre-analyze fatty acids from various seaweed species, including a few species of other coastal plants, and we found out that fatty acids are great biomarkers. These two pictures on the top are showing how fatty acids uh, drive separation between brown, red, and green seaweeds, and also other coastal plants, including seagrass, salt marsh, and mangroves. Our ongoing works are trying to couple uh, the fatty acids with their associated stable isotopes and expecting to produce um, fatty acid specific isotope biomarkers that may enable us to discriminate as well as quantify seaweed carbon in the sediment samples. The ultimate goals of this project are getting quantitative capability of the biomarkers to enable not only detection but also quantification of seaweed carbon stored in the sediment. We are expecting that this can be implemented to coastal management and climate change mitigation strategy, clarifying how much seaweed contribute to the current blue carbon sequestration estimate and with this, we can provide seaweed carbon sequestration estimate for uh, study locations. Then we can scale this up to the statewide estimate. And then we are hoping that this can help environmental management institution to manage the coastal area, particularly seaweed ecosystems, whether we should stick to whatever current policy or maybe conservation or restoration are required and the most important outcome is to help us in mitigating the carbon emission in this current situation where climate change is one of big issue all over the world. And thank you for listening.